Hi, this is AD. Do you know how to measure the surface area of a simple gable or a hip roof, whether it is for a renovation or just for a building inspection purpose? Here is a pretty simple way to do it. First of all, it is only applicable for a gable type of roof and a hip type of roof. The main difference between these two type of roof is that the hip type of roof has angles on every side of the roof. As you can see at the top view in this picture, whereas the gable type of roof has not. You also need to have the blueprints of the building for easier calculations. Okay, here is how you measure the surface area of the roof. Simply apply equation 1, base area divided by sinus alpha, where A base is the base area of the roof and alpha is the angle of the roof slope. This equation is applicable for both the gable type of roof and the hip type of roof. So where is the base area and alpha? From this picture you can see that the base area is the area inside the green lines here and here. So it is the multiplication of x and y or equation 2. Practically, the base area can be obtained from the building's soft drawings or by measuring with a regular measure tape method. Meanwhile, the data of alpha angle is a bit difficult to get. If you have the blueprints of the building, you may find this data easily. But what if you don't have the blueprints? Well, I guess you have to climb the roof to obtain data about the roof's height, described in this picture as Z. Afterwards, you can get the alpha angle with equation 3. But always remember not to confuse between alpha and beta because they are not the same. Finally, you can measure the roof surface area using the equation described on the previous slide. For more complex roof, it will be a bit tricky like the one shown here. There are two roof areas, roof 1 and roof 2 roof 1 and roof 2 here. To measure surface area of roof 1, you can apply the described equation by moving the area inside the red triangle here to replace the area in the green triangle here. So roof 1 will still remain a full hip roof and you can use the same equation or equation 4 in the picture. Roof 2 contains um, two parallelogram shapes, this one and this one, um, which could also be considered as a gable type of roof, assuming that you transform the parallelogram shapes into rectangular shapes. Therefore, you can still use the same equation as roof 1 or equation 5 in the picture. Finally, you can measure the whole surface area of roof by adding the surface area of roof 1 and the surface area of roof 2. I guess that's all. You can see more detailed description from howtowhatever.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching.